All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go over some stuff. Now, you might be wondering why I got a gun on my screen and why is it an AK? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over some tips and tricks and ways that you know, 3D artists can make sure that they always have good proportions. And you know, the good question is why did I choose the AK? Well, I swear to God, I've seen this model maybe about a billion times. And I think that it's the most regularly and the most blatantly misproportioned model I see regularly. That's like very recognizable shapes and proportions. And, you know, it has nothing to do with people not knowing what guns are, how they're working. It has to do with bad observation skills. So if you're eyeballing everything or even modeling over it, you're probably going to somehow find a way to mess it up. So I'm going to show you how this tip and trick is going to translate to other stuff anyways basically it's a very simple trick take one part of your model of the of the object copy it in photoshop just like this now we got two of them and we're going to basically use it as a unit of measurement so we can take this thing to figure out how big this receiver is we're going to basically just copy it from one end to the other it's like using rulers or something if you don't have a tape measure and so we can basically say, okay, this bad boy right here, this receiver, is about two and a half, two and a half safeties long. It's that easy. Then we can say, all right, how long is this stock? Well, stock is about one and a fifth. Two and a fifth safeties or two and a fourth safeties long. And so by doing this, we can ensure that we're almost always going to have a correct scale. Now, you can also take this to figure out the overall gun. You know, take the stock and be like, okay, the gun is like, I don't know, two and three, four, three, three and three fourths stocks long. And so using this method, you can basically no longer have any excuse for bad proportions. You know, you can take literally any part of the model and compare it to another. And uh, this way, you're no longer going to be messing everything up. And we can say, for example, this, you know, just, it's just comparative everything. You can say, okay, this uh, magazine eject, eject switch is about the same size as the piece of metal above it, how far it sticks out. You can take the... Uh, distance of the trigger you know and compare it to the distance of the space in between so you can say like okay uh, this is probably like four times one fourth of the distance the size of the trigger is the space between where it hits the uh, trigger guard then we can go over here to the AK handle and we can say okay it's like you know, one and a third, one and a third, one and three fourths, uh, you know, triggers tall, or sorry, uh, handles tall. So let's just take a look at some AKs because it's, uh, if you just look up AK 3D model, you're going to see a lot of people missing the safety switch size. They're going to make their guns too fat. They're going to make things too long, too short. And there's just going to be a lot of uh, havoc at play. You know, I'm not trying to be a, an asshole to anybody, but I see this extremely regularly, so it's uh, pretty much nothing new to me. Now, the next thing is we're going to go over here, and we're going to find a proper concept. And so, let's say, you know, you got to model something. It's not like a gun. It's something random. Now, this obviously, this trick isn't going to work if something's in super perspective, unless you understand perspective and want to do some uh, special sizing but if you have a side view you know we can take this to any concept get that scale looking good get the scale looking right so let's uh let's find like some spaceship whatever let's just use this one and so you can see here i'm gonna go over to this bad boy and uh we're gonna take this piece here and we're gonna use this as a unit of measurement so we're gonna say the ship is about two and a half of these tall, something like that. 
It's like two, too tall. And then we can go over here. We can take this thing, measure it to the thing next to it, and be like, I right, about three of these tall in the back here. We can take the front piece measured as two. And so basically, by just cutting it into pieces, we can start to comparatively see how things are. Now, I highly suggest. You know, doing this when you're modeling, always just look at, just do line overs. Look at the length of all of the lines. Make sure you're doing them right. Make sure you're not mixing up the proportions. You know, think about the sizes of things with a little bit more care. I see a lot of times people who are beginning and even people who, you know, maybe are a bit more experienced, they're still struggling with this proportion thing, especially if, uh, especially if they don't have a side view. So anyway, it's a quick, simple video. I hope that it's helpful. And now nobody has any excuses for bad proportions. If you do, I'm gonna come after you. I'm gonna find where you live. This is a threat. I'm uh, just kidding, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one.